What's up everybody? Welcome back to Off. Um, today I just wanted to do a bit of an updated jersey thing um, because since I did my jersey ranking last I've gotten a few new ones um, so let's dive in. Start off, uh, not really jersey but this is a uh, still a Canucks thing. This is the uh, Canucks Lunar New Year Year of the Tiger hoodie. Um, so the jerseys they made were ridiculously expensive to get at auction. I'm talking like $600 to $1,500, um, depending on the player you get on the back. Um, so this is the next best thing. It's got the logo that uh, Trevor Lai designed with the tiger coming out of the water in the shape of the orca. And the sleeve, um, the entrance to Chinatown in Vancouver with some Chinese characters. Really nice hoodie. Um, Nice color, you don't really get red with the Canucks unless you're wearing uh, the old gradient design. That's the most red you get. Um, and then obviously the flying V and the uh, flying skate and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, decent jer er, hoodie here. Let's move on to the jerseys. Next up, uh, you saw me unbox these, um, but we got the home of Seattle jersey. Uh, really nice jersey, nice color grading, um, great shoulder patch. Good logo, and they are probably green, so the beveling is all really nice, and the detailing on these. So, I'm not going to spend too much time on this, but yeah, home Seattle. Next up, we got the Away of Seattle. Same thing as the home. Nice shoulder patch, nice beveling on the front crust. Really nice color. I think I do like this one more than the home. Um, as you know, I'm partial to road jerseys. Yeah, Away of Seattle jersey. Next up, you saw me about this one as well. This is the uh, Islanders alternate jersey. Um, I love the white, blue, and the orange. Color contrast is really nice, and the logo is a good one too. Um, got the Long Island in the collar, Islanders on the back, right there, and yeah, decent jersey, also blank. Really nice. Chicago home jersey. Um, say what you will about Chicago, but their jersey is absolutely beautiful. Got a nice chain stitching on the logo. Um, Iconic shoulder patches with the C and the tomahawks in there. Um, and it does have the old collar from the first year, but there's no button on it. So, I don't know what that's about. But yeah, good jersey, blank, Chicago home. Up we got um, what I rent as my favorite Canucks jersey of all time, which is their 40th anniversary one. Um, so this one is the old sticking rink. This is a Reebok. And it's got um, the V's in the sleeves there. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I really like this one. The neckline is nice. Um, and yeah, I got that one recently. So I love this one. It's great. Uh, this one is just a home jersey, but it is a uh, Pedersen. Um, I did say I was going to get the prime green Pedersen. Um, unfortunately, when I went to the Canucks store, they didn't have any prime green jerseys with names on the back. Um, so, I bit the bullet and just got a normal one. Um, I'm going to get a prime green one when I go to the Canucks versus the Tampa Bay Lightning um, in March. So that's in a couple weeks. Um, and we'll do a comparison then with the Climalite and the prime green. Um, but yeah, from what I've seen, uh, they do look really nice. But yeah, I just got a Peston jersey. Just standard home. Really nice one. Um, and I did unbox uh, my Henrik Sweden Sweden jersey um, in my fourth video. Um, I got that from a custom seller on Instagram. Um, so when the Canucks came out with their Lunar New Year jerseys, as I said before, they were super expensive. So I messaged him asking if he could make me one. He said no. Um, so I'm like, okay, where do you get the patches from? So he told me. I messaged that guy. I had to make up um, two of the shoulder patches, so the answers to Chinatown and the main crest with the tiger. And then I got a red jersey off of Amazon and had Pro Hockey Life heat press it. So this is my take on the Canucks of the New Year jersey. Um, it turned out really well, so I got the whole main crest there, really nicely detailed tiger jumping out of the water there. Um, shoulder patches, entrance to Chinatown again. I'll move that a bit closer so you can see. That focuses. Yep. Um, 
yeah, and so I just got those and uh, put together. And this thing costs 170 overall, I think. Roughly around there um, to get all this done. Um, yeah, so really nice jersey. Um, it's like the full, like proper NHL material. So like the Climb Light ones are a bit softer. This one's a bit more rough, a bit more sturdy, and a bit bigger, so you can put pads underneath it. Um, but yeah, it turned out really nice. Um, and yeah, it's a fantastic jersey. It just doesn't have the NHL here, and the Adidas is on the front, and there's no Adidas on the back for some reason. It's odd. My header scene doesn't want one that has it, but this doesn't for some reason. Uh, but yeah, really nice jersey. So those are all the jerseys that I got after my jersey making video. Um, and just for kicks, um, uh, you might remember me when I was showing off all my Viking stuff, saying I was going to go to Fan Expo in February, which I did, that was this past week. Um, and instead of getting a Thor's Hammer, even though I did have a chance to, I ended up getting the Witcher's Steel Sword, so Geralt's Steel Sword. Um, it's got the downturn cross guard, um, the beasts on the end of the hilt, focus. Kind of see it in there, yeah. Okay. Um, and it's uh, someone's got a scabbard with it, and it came with the belt, which I took out for this. But I'll oh, shoot the blade here. So yeah, nice thing, sharp point. Really nice sword. Um, you can use it for display or for cosplay, whatever. Um, I just have it in my room for fun. Um, but yeah, really nice piece, about two hundred dollars. And yeah, just a fun little thing. And then last thing to show you, when I was waiting for my jersey to get heat pressed, because it takes a while if you just bring it in right off the bat, um, I took a trip back to Pastime Sports and Games, which is in the same building, and got myself a Stanley Cup replica. So these ones are nice, they're about 8, or eight inches tall, um, and for this one it has the Washington Capitals logo on it. Um, if Vancouver had won a championship, still open for that, um, I would have gotten that. But uh, this is the next best thing, because uh, Tarpsoft 2 is a big Capitals fan, and he's kind of indoctrinated me into that fandom. So I got this, um, and I keep it for now. I'll maybe hand it off to Tarpsoft 2 um, for like a birthday present or something. But for now, I didn't think my room was going to be quite as complete without a Stanley Cup replica in here, but yeah, really nice thing. Alright, um, so that's going to be it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Um, absolutely smash that like button, subscribe if you feel like it. Um, go give me a follow on Twitch at uh, Glove604. Um, I'm uh, currently streaming Spider-Man Miles Morales, um, so that's going to be a good time. Anyways, um, that's it for today. I will see you guys next time.